Hey kids, we are back with a second example of doing cross sections perpendicular to the y-axis. This time we're talking about the region bound by the graph of y equals ln of x and the line y equals x minus 2. So just to, again to reiterate that when you see this, the, the phrase that you're going perpendicular to the y-axis, that's when you would be slicing in this direction and regardless of where you're at, when you go horizontally like this, you are talking about the difference in the x-coordinates. So you need to solve these equations for x. Um, and one thing you definitely need is these points of intersection. So uh, this one maybe looks like it's 3, but it could be a little bit more than 3, and I don't really want to assume. So remember, if you're going to get your intersections uh, with a calculator, that's fine. Just show the equation. ln of x equals x minus 2. And I already have this graphed on my calculator. How convenient. Second trace, 5 for intersect. Enter, enter, enter. It goes to the closest one. And there are two solutions. Now, just before you clear this, keep in mind that, that if you wrote this, you are solving it for x. And so that would be when x is... 3.146 but if you're thinking ahead what we really want are the y values because we're doing this uh, in terms of y so really while I'm at it I'm going to write this and that means y is 1.146 those are really the values I'm after Unless you would change your equation uh, in terms of y and then solve that one, you could jump right to the y values. But if I write this equation, technically I'm solving for the x values that satisfy it, and the y values, you know, come right along with it. So it's a minor, you know, in case you retake the AP next year or something. Uh, so second trace, intersect, enter, enter. I want to go to this one, so you either scroll or you just guess a value that's close to there. It's definitely closer to zero. They intersect when x is about 0.159, even though we're really after that second y value, which is about negative 1.841. Negative 1.841. OK, those are really the values I'm after. That right there is negative 1.841. This one right here is 1.146, so it was not right at 3. And now let's go here. We're, we're doing this, uh, this direction, so we need to solve these equations for x. This one is certainly simple enough. If y equals x minus 2, then that means y plus 2 is equal to x. Okay, and that's this line right here. x is equal to y plus 2. This being y equals ln of x, to solve that for x, you want to raise e to each side, right? So that means e to the y is equal to x. And so there's your other equation, x equals e to the y. And no matter where you're at in this region, that, that distance between those will always be bound by this graph on the right side and this graph on the left side of the region. So it will always be the right minus the left, right? This x value minus this x value, which would always be y plus 2 minus e to the y. <clears throat> so that distance right there. And what, are, what kind of cross-section are we doing? Equilateral triangle. And, you know, if you like to try to sketch the 3D thing, I don't blame you. It's pretty cool. But I'll just get a little lazy here and say, look, each one of these uh, little sections, these horizontal segments, that is the side of the equilateral triangle. So each side is going to be the right boundary minus the left boundary. Y plus 2 minus E to the Y. And the area of any equilateral triangle is s squared root 3 over 4. Or in this case, root 3 over 4 times that s, y plus 2 minus e to the y squared. 
And if that's the area of each one of these triangles, we integrate to get all of them. That infinite amount of sections added up give us that volume. So the volume will be the definite integral from this y value to this y value. You know, so from negative 1.8 negative 1.841 to 1.146 and this is our area so if you like you can factor the root 3 out or 4 out in front or you can keep it inside doesn't matter y plus 2 minus e to the y squared dy gotta have that differential on the end right what is this honors calc if you don't have that no way it's ap so let's evaluate this or, you know, you're free to do it by hand, of course. If you want to just, you know, push yourself. And here we go. Make a nice little fraction. So root 3 over 4 times the definite integral, math 9, from negative 1.1841. I really probably should have stored these decimals because these were rounded. So that could affect things. Uh, but we'll let it go x plus 2 minus e to the x squared. Oh, I forgot to um, create a, an extra set of parentheses on the inside here. So remember, you don't have to delete or retype the whole thing. You can just insert. So in front of that x, I want to insert a new set of parentheses to open and insert here. Well, I guess I didn't really need to, but uh, and then squared. So yeah, a lot of typing here besides just, you know, the idea of setting it up. So definitely watch your, your syntax in here. And that should be it, though. should be good. And we get 0. 0.643 or 0. 0.642. 0. 0.643. Nice. Not a very big volume, but then again, this isn't a very big region. It's a pretty small distance, so you're going to have pretty small triangles, so... It'd be like a tiny little sliver of a biscotti, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, so hopefully the example two, uh, you know, further solidified your understanding of this concept. And if not, of course, always feel free to ask me questions. Have a good day, kids.